Okay, today we're going to be looking at how to take an image and a JPEG or bitmap image and turn it into a DXF uh, for use in T2 laser. So uh, we have this image here, and so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to trace the bitmap. So you go in, select trace bitmap. You want to do a live preview, remove the background, and we're going to go in here and select the image. Uh, if you don't have it selected, nothing will appear. Uh, and then we're going to up the threshold until we get it somewhere that we like it. I know, already know for this image that somewhere right around 6 is good. Um, and then I'm going to select OK. We can go ahead and close this trace bitmap image now and it overlaid your trace bitmap right over the uh, previous JPEG. So we're going to move it. The one that you move is the traced you can tell because it has all the vertices if we double click on the original image it does not um, and by doing it this way we've turned it into just a black and white image there's no shades of gray there we go there we go delete it all right so we're going to move the image back now for a dxf we want it to be at zero zero so x zero y zero uh, and then we want to uh, lock the aspect ratio uh, we could um, drag this out a little bit and make it fill up the, the window, um, but for this we'll just leave it as is. Alright, so now we need it um, to appear as lines, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to fill and we're going to turn off the fill so it has no paint. We're going to go to stroke and we're going to make it solid. We want the stroke style to be set to millimeters, and we want it to be 0.1 millimeters, which is the same size as our laser. Okay, great. So now we have the outline that we were looking for. So to save it as a DXF, we're going to do File, Save As. We're going to select down here, and we're going to select uh, uh, Desktop Cutting Plotter um, DXF file. Um, and then we're going to save it. We'll just save it on the desktop uh, as Logo 2. I already did this once before, so you see there's already a Logo 2. So we're going to turn off RoboMaster and use LW Polyline, turn both those off. Base units, we want them in millimeters. Um, character encoding is Latin 1. Uh, layer export selection visible only. Uh, and now, uh, once you select, have it set up this way, it will always appear this way. So you don't have to keep resetting this up. We're going to hit OK. Uh, it's going to tell me I'm re you're replacing that. That's because I already did this once. So yes, I do want to replace it. So now we're going to come into T2 Laser. We're going to File. Well, uh, before we do this, uh, let's go into the DXF options. Usually you want to relocate origin. So had you not set X and Y to 0 originally uh, when we did it in the previous step, you could hit relocate origin. And no matter where your image uh, was in your in your uh, in Inkscape, it will put it back to zero zero, so it, it appears in the right spot. Um, the uh, DSX DF DXF optimizer uh, uh, has some um, additional things in here. Uh, override DXF units. This forces a conversion if you do not have your unit sent. We set ours to millimeters, so that was fine. You can also use different colors to select a feed rate. Uh, we won't be doing that. Uh, ignore bulges. Uh, that is for certain types of DXS files um, that when you bring them in, they look all funky. Um, sometimes that'll help. And so that's good. So the only one we want is uh, the relocate origin there. Oops. Hit the wrong button. So we're going to go to File, Import DXF. We're going to go to My Desktop. And we're going to select Logo 2. So now we've brought it in um, as a DXF. Now what will happen is the laser will follow the path of this line. Um, and then instead of these being you know line segments or it being like a printer and going uh, horizontally doing a raster image uh, this is going to go and each one of these will be an individual um, 
an individual object. So if we go into control laser, we can see what that's like by clicking on view. And if we hit S to simulate, this is what the laser is going to be doing. So as you can see, it's going to draw each one of those. So we're not going to sit here and watch this. Additionally, there is a different way to do this. Um, so we, instead of doing all that work in Inkscape, we can also just do it in uh, T2. So if we go in here and we go to uh, desktop, I still have the image on the desktop as logo 4. Uh, there it is. So uh, now we have the image. If you come in here and do auto trace, uh, okay, so I have auto trace with the hatch fill selected. Um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do just the outline. Um, if you want it with a hatch fill, that would have been the correct way to do that. However, I would just like uh, a regular sketch. So, uh, there we go. So if you just auto trace it again, it goes ahead and uh, gets rid of um, gets rid of the, the infill there. So again, if we come in here and we hit view and we hit S, that's S like Sam, it's going to show you that it's going to draw all the same lines that it did before. Notice it's a little different order. Um, however, it is all still the same lines. So that's all I have for you guys today. Enjoy T2 laser. Have a good day lasing.